You're not at war with the flesh. You're at war with principalities. You're at war with things you can't see. I know school has brainwashed an entire society. School, television, and all these other various mind control techniques that the government uses. See, they like to confuse people when they're young. So when they grow up, they see the world totally different than what it really is. This evil system that's in the world that everybody seems to live by. Shouldn't say everybody, but the fools. This evil system. It's not the work of any man or any woman. It's the work of the devil. The way how you gotta pay for this, you gotta pay for that. You can do this, but you gotta pay a fee for that. That's not the work of any man. That's just the work of various greedy people throughout the years who want to take more and more of what you own. Basically want to limit your mental ability. Once you know the truth and once you trust in Jesus, you're free from all that. Once you become aware of all this craziness and this evil, you're going to see how spiritual things are. You're going to see how spiritual the world really is. If you get into a fight with somebody, or somebody yells something at you, once again, you're not at war with the flesh. You're at war with principalities. There's a reason why that person is doing that. There's reasons why things happen. There's a lot more to this world than what meets the eye, my friend, seriously. No joke. I'm pretty sure that you already know that the United States government is just nothing more than a satanic organization that many people choose to follow instead of following Jesus, instead of asking the Lord for wisdom and guidance each and every day. People would rather turn on their television sets and watch these newscasters who have sold their souls to the devil and who get paid millions of dollars to basically confuse you. There's a reason why they get paid so much money, you know. You don't actually think that a person with a couple million dollars in their pocket is going to tell the truth, do you? Seriously, dude, if somebody's paying him over a million dollars to speak on a screen for five minutes... Do you really think they're going to say something true? Get real, man. Get real. For real. Wake up. Wake up out of this trance that the system has put you into. There's a reason why the system forces everybody to go to school, you know, when they're young kids. Because when you're a young kid, your mind is open. Everything in this world interests you. You, know, you don't think that... School is really to give you an education, do you? <laughs> There's a reason why school was put in place. It was put in place to control the minds of young people. It was put in place to distract people from what this world is really about at a young age and get them sucked into this corporatism. Condition them. Sure, you know what that word condition means. I could go on all day about this stuff, man. Seriously. And it just aggravates me. It aggravates me to a point that's beyond words. How sick and disgusting the system really is. So I'm going to forget the system. I'm going to forget all their ridiculousness. The standards that society lives by, there's a reason why they live by that, they're brainwashed. However, I just want you to ask yourself one thing. Are you rolling with the God of peace? Or are you rolling with the devil? Ask yourself that seriously, who are you rolling with? 
I ain't gonna tell you what to do. All I can do is tell you what I do. I can only give you advice. I myself trust in God. Okay, I've been hit by cars. I've had the crap beat out of me a couple times. I've had a lot of stupid stuff happen to me, but when I look back at it, it was all just a learning experience. Just to wake me up inside. To help me see what this world is really about and how quickly it can be over. If I was to die right now, at least I know when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. <laughs> People that know me in real life know that I'm nowhere near perfect. Alright, but I do try and spread peace. You have to try. As hard as it is sometimes to spread peace to these hard-headed people who think they know it all and really they don't even know anything about life. All they know is how to survive in the system. All they know is the lies that the system has put in their mind. I know it's hard to spread peace to these people, especially the ones that drive their plastic cars and take up the whole road and want you to move out of the way, even though you're on a bike and take yourself somewhere. Oh, Father. It angers me on a point that I can't explain in words, but I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it make me mad today. I'm not going to let it. Spread peace, as hard as it is. Spread peace and ask the Lord for wisdom and ask the Lord for guidance on a daily basis, every day. I myself, before I leave this house, obviously this house ain't mine, I'm just a guest here basically, but before I leave this house every day, I ask the Lord to guide me, I ask the Lord to protect me, and I also ask the Lord to make sure that everything in this day go smooth. I ask the Lord to protect me from confusion. And I also ask the Lord to just make sure that nothing crazy happens. When you talk to God, nobody else can decode what you're saying. You can talk to God all day. And nobody will know a single thing you said to Him unless you yourself tell them. Your relationship with the Lord is as personal as it gets. I don't want to tell you what to do now, but I think we can all agree that this is the end. None of us know which day it's going to be, or which week, or which month. All we really know is that time is ticking. And time is ticking faster now than it really... I think it's ticking faster now than it ever was before, seriously, because... When you look around you, dude, seriously, just look around you. Don't say a word. Just examine things. Watch things. That's what I do. I can watch just society. Watch their little... How they drive by in their cars. They all look the same. They all look dumb. I don't really want to be so blunt about it, but that's how I see it. You know, it's like they, they spend thousands and thousands of dollars for some ugly plastic car. And then they want to they wanna go and act like they're better than the world because they have a shiny plastic piece of junk. You know, and then they drive down the road, they take up like 10 feet, <laughs> and they want you to move. You know how it is. I don't have to explain it to you. But I can watch these guys all day, and I don't have to say a word. It just disgusts me how society has become like a machine, the way they live their lives. They're like robots, man. That is not how God intended for us to live. And then, of course, I run into the homeless people who have nothing, and yet they're happy. They're enjoying their lives. They're grateful to see you. They're like, how you been, man? What's going on? Everybody's happy. Everybody's cool, but then society comes along, they're like a machine, they all got their plastic cars, they all make their sharp right hand turns, and they're all in a big hurry to go and do nothing. They want you to move out of their way on their command, but yet, 
What are they doing that's so important? What are they accomplishing? What are they doing with their lives? You know, that's just how I myself look at it. What are they building? What is the message they're spreading? I could be wrong. I don't know. That's just how I myself see things. People who have nothing and who have very little are usually the nicest people you're going to meet. I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is give you advice. I mean, take it or leave it. That's all I can say. I myself, I rely on God each and every day. You know, you could have a gun up to my head right now and I wouldn't change that. All you can do in this life is rely on God and just enjoy your day. Be thankful for everything you have. Even if it's just a lighter in your pocket that's only got that much gas in it, be thankful. Be thankful for that because that lighter could very well save your life on a night like tonight when it's only going to be like 7 degrees outside. Be thankful for the littlest things that you have. Be thankful for your friends and your family people and just just realize that everything you have today could be gone tomorrow okay all God's got to do all he's got to do is shake the earth and it'll all fall apart believe me you know they want to build these plastic houses and charge people hundreds of thousands of dollars for garbage and then People were foolish enough to go and spend all that money on a new house and then here they're broke two years later and living out on the street. But then again, that's how the system traps people. You'd be surprised. Everything you have right now could be gone tomorrow. That's why you need to be thankful and be the best person that you can be. Seriously. I don't really know what else to say about this one. All I can say is... Be peaceful, spread peace, and be happy. Treat everyone as if they're your brother and your sister. It's hard sometimes, especially when you're on a bike and there's cars with lazy people who haven't lifted a finger off the page a day in their life, who've ne never missed a meal. People like that are very hard to deal with and are very hard to talk to, but you got to try. Just try and spread peace. Even if it's only one sentence, like, how you doing? They don't even have the reply. At least you spread at peace, you've done your job. That's all I got to say. Trust in God and ask for wisdom and guidance each and every day. Ask the Lord for wisdom. Wisdom especially. And ask the Lord to guide you to wherever He feels as though you belong. If you do that every day, within a week you'll notice your life will start changing. You're going to start seeing things differently than you ever saw them. And you're just going to see this world as a totally different place. You're going to see this world for what it really is. That's all I have to say. I can't tell you what to do. I can only give you advice. But that's what I have to say. I love you all. Peace. Let the God of peace be with you.